Hi, I'm David Hawks, and you're on The Creators with us today. And I'm really excited, and I don't, I'm not dressing this up. I'm really excited because I have Bill Lieb here with me today. How are you? Fine, thank you. I, it's, it's great that you're with me today. This is great. We're going to talk music and Bill Lieb. And uh, yeah, and we're at the, at the Armory in Vancouver. Amazing studio, which you've worked in many times, right? Yes, this, this place uh, has ghosts of fame and greatness from every, everyone Everybody. from... Um, Metallica, the Frontline Assembly, to you, you AC, name it, AC, AC, yeah, everybody's, and uh, initially with Brian Adams and Jim Valance, yeah. so it's like a, a historical studio. Nice of them to have us in today, for sure. Yep. I have to ask you, Bill, going back, this is for the puppy fans, okay? Mm -hmm. Back in the day with Skinny Puppy, do you have some memories about it, like being a time when you felt you were really breaking through? Like, what, what was it like to be in Skinny Puppy at the time when everything was so controlled, but you guys came out of nowhere, man? Well, I, I just remember, the, uh, like, me and Kevin, like, the first time, the, the very first puppy review we ever read, and um, we, bought, uh, we bought the enemy, and we were on Granville Street, and we just released Remission, and, like, Dave Henderson, who had a, an art, a, a thing called the Wild Planet Bands, and... And it just said, Skinny Puppy, it says, From the land of Gordon Lightfoot and Ann Murray, Sturms these dark clad guys. Who the hell do these guys think they are with this? You know, like, wow. and we were just like... Awesome. We thought, we're there. Yeah, you this is like this New is Music Express, like, amazing. You know, this, this is like, you know, from the band of The Clash and The Pistols and all that stuff I mentioned. Right. All of a sudden they noticed us. And then, you know, the funny thing is like, even on the very first tour, which is... We bought like a three-quarter panel van in North Vancouver. We put somebody, uh, Kevin's grandma's couch in the back, <laughs> loaded up the gear, and just drove across uh, Canada and America. But college radio stations then, we were in the top 10 of all the college radio stations with REM, with all that kind of music. And it seemed to get accepted, you know, like no rhyme or reason why, because nothing really sounded like it. And we didn't sound like a pretty band, you know. It was completely and, and, different. Uh, I mean, I remember playing it at the Love Affair as a DJ off a cassette and just going, and immediately you hit a nerve with people. And even the first tour, we, we had people everywhere, like the Diamond Club in Toronto was full, you know, like, wow. and Chris Shepard was promoting us. And it was like... It was just a thing, you know, we never we never had to be the band that we're playing to 20 people a night. And yeah, that's great. I'll take it, you know. And Skinny Puppy's still doing huge, big, huge shows yeah, now as well. one of the biggest cult bands around, yeah. you know. It's yeah. like, and, uh, and uh, so it, uh, maybe, maybe it was just a different time, a different era. But College Radio Station helped, helped a lot back then. Yeah. Even CITR, we used to go up there and, and, and host a show and, and do yeah. this and that. And they, you know. They play different music now.